A pitivier is a great alternative to a traditional roast and can be made with a whole variety of fillings. We're going to use chicken, butternut squash, spinach and sage. First, dust your work surface and rolling pin with a little flour, then start to roll the pastry. It's much easier to roll pastry if you take it out of the fridge at least 20 minutes before you need it. As you roll, keep turning the pastry 90 degrees. It will help you roll it evenly. When the pastry is about half a centimeter thick, use a dinner plate to cut out a circle that is approximately 20 centimeters wide. Start to add the filling with a layer of cooled squash. Place it in the center of the circle, leaving a ring around the edge for the lid. Fill in any gaps with smaller pieces of squash. Next, pile your chicken and spinach mixture on top. Use your hands to form a dome. Roll out the second piece of pastry and cut another circle that is a couple of centimeters wider than the plate. Wet the edge of the base with a little water to help the pastry stick. Then place the second circle on top and gently press down to get rid of any air. Seal the lid by pressing firmly around the edges with your hands. At this point, the pitivier needs to go in the fridge for an hour to help the pastry and filling firm up before cooking. After an hour, take the pitivier out of the fridge and brush the lid with egg yolk, which will give you a lovely golden finish when it's baked. Only brush a little bit of yolk at a time and make sure the surface is evenly coated. Put it back in the fridge for another 15 minutes to set the yolk. Use a small knife or a toothpick to make a small hole in the center of the pastry and to score curved lines from the top to the bottom. Put the finished pie in the preheated oven to cook for 10 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Then turn the oven down by 20 degrees and bake for another 30 to 40 minutes until it's golden brown and the base is flaky and crisp. You could try other flavor combinations like leek and sausage meat, roasted root vegetables, or beetroot and goat's cheese.